I made a Sunderland video recently where I spoke about their successes, especially in the early 1900s, where they were one of the best, if not the best team in England. I also compared what they've won in their history to that of Newcastle as well, and found out that in some instances, Sunderland are way more successful than their bigger rivals, Newcastle. There is a lot going on at the club at the moment, with the homecoming of Jermaine Defoe today, the new manager announcement, which might be Roy Keane. The uh, rumours are looking very strong that Keane is going to be confirmed as the manager very soon as well as some stuff going on for the Bradley Lowry Foundation today as well but yeah this season I have ticked off Newcastle and Middlesbrough and today I get to complete the big North East trio as I watch a game here in Sunderland at the Stadium of Light. I couldn't be happier about doing it. I think there's going to be loads of people here today. Um, I think they have sold like nearly 40,000 tickets for a League One game which is absolutely unbelievable especially if you consider they lost 6-0 in their last game as well. So please hit that like button please subscribe if you're new let's go have a look around Sunderland and finally take in a game at the Stadium of Light So as mentioned, you can uh, find more information about Sunderland in this video. The uh, thumbnail is on screen right now. So yeah, if you want to check that out, um, I'll link it down below. I'll leave a card to it at the end as well. So um, yeah, but in a nutshell, Sunderland are a really successful club and it's a shame to see them in League One. There's going to be loads of fans here today. I think you're going to be really blown away with how well they are supported for like the league that they're in. They should be a lot higher, as should Portsmouth and Ipswich and Bolton. There's some really big teams. I'm probably missing a couple out here. Ooh, just avoiding the wind a little bit here. But um, yeah, this site that they're on now, uh, they used to have an old stadium called Roker Park. And again, I've been to just the area around here where you can see little bits of the old Roker Park, uh, which I might overlay on screen right now. But um, yeah, you can see like old bits from the old stadium in the car parks and stuff. And um, the site that the current stadium is on used to be an old coal mining area as well. So um, yeah, really historic part of Sunderland that they're in right now. Um, but they did used to have a proper classic old ground which was built by my favorite architect, Archibald Leach. On paper, Sunderland should really win today. Doncaster at bottom of the league, Sunderland at third. But last time out, Sunderland lost 6-0 against Bolton and Doncaster, Doncaster lost 5-0 against Rotherham. So they're both off the back of some huge losses, but Sunderland are way higher in the table. What's like the current managerial situation here? Well, you explain. it's because <laughs> when like we were playing like former games, obviously, Johnson was playing three at the back and yep. I think that was... Was it four at the back? No, it was four at the back, yeah. He was playing four at the back and I think when he was playing four at the back, that's when we were conceding all the goals and like... Then they've just got to play up, just running in, crossing it in, yep. they've got goals scoring and that. And obviously when we're playing three at the back, that's just when we pick up all the points. And, yeah. and then Roy Keane is obviously rumoured yeah. to be coming back. Would you be happy to see him come back yeah. here? Well, yeah. yeah, there's a few other ones. Like, is it Grant McCann or something? Yeah. 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 But I'd probably prefer Roy Keane. Keane, yeah. Yeah. And you lost 6-0 against Bolton last yeah. week, but you're still third in the table, so confident you can go up? Yeah. Well, mm. I mean, Wigan, like, obviously have, like, four games in hand, and then yeah. here's Wickham. As, wait, no, they're on the same point, so we've got Rotherham. Rotherham as well are up there, yeah. Games in hand, so it depends if we get, like, the results and the points, obviously. You never know. You never yeah. know. And Defoe's return today as well. Yeah. Do you think he could start? Yeah. Uh, no. I think he'll be He's on the not bench. Much yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. So it'd be good to see him at least come on, maybe yeah. for a little bit towards the end. And score prediction, then? Um, 3-0 and... 4-0 Sunderland. Nice, enjoy boys. Just trying to get a little bit of a reprieve of the wind here, but we have a roast pork and uh, stuffing roll, a bit of apple sauce as well. Been doing a lot of cardio lately, so I feel like I deserve it, but let's try and see how it is. Oh wow, this could be the 
best stadium food I've had for a long time. Shout out to Central Park Haven. Ooh, you are obviously a neutral yeah. here today. Obviously your Bishop Auckland uh, jacket as well, so you're into like your non-league football and stuff. But have you been to the stadium like before? Never. Never? Sorry. Well, there should be a lot of tickets sold for today, so it's going to be, I think, quite an impressive turnout. Yeah, which is incredible for League One, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think the score's going to be? feeling Jermaine Defoe has just arrived. Let's see. There he is. He's loving it, look at him. Jermaine! Jermaine! Welcome home! Oh, they're loving it. What a lovely touch. Big day today, isn't it? Defoe's back. Yeah. I just heard the roar around the front of him uh, turning up. Are you excited to have him back at Sunderland? Oh, I'm buzzing. Yeah. Be good for how long he stays for six months, maybe. Yeah, it'd be good to have him back here. And what do you think the score's going to be then today? 5-0. Five 5-0? Nil. Five nil. Making up for last week against Bolton, yeah? I'm up for a 4-1. Sunderland losing 2-0, see you in the second half.
You see Jermaine Defoe? He's an absolute hero around here. Here's Defoe. It's great seeing that. No, 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 no. Jermaine Defoe. people here today, League One. Come back on. <laughs> I can't believe it's taken Sunderland this long to score. They've done everything except score. There's Jermaine Defoe, out in the centre there. What a guy, what a load of uh, great work he's done. And just his time like looking after the wee Bradley Lowry as well. So sad what happened, but what he's done for his club is obviously he doesn't go unnoticed. And that's why the fans really adore him here. And it says up there, thanks for your support. Almost 39,000 here today for a League One game. Of which obviously Sunderland lost their last game 6-0 at Bolton. They've just conceded eight in the last two games and today they've lost against the bottom team in the league and thanks for your support it says up there this is an amazingly supported club all right i'll see you back in the car in a sec i don't think there are many fan bases in the uk as good as sunderland yet playing such bad football and in such kind of a bad state third tier there yet the fans come out in their numbers like that and sing even though you know, they lost against the bottom team in the league today and lost 6-0 against Bolton in their last game as well. So, yeah, got to take my hat off to the fans and to Defoe. Big, big moment for him and for the fans as well, of course. But um, I'm sure there's a few Doncaster fans watching. Massive three points for you guys who are really, really struggling as well this season. So, um, yeah, I'm sure you're all happy with that. So, uh, if you have watched this far, Sunderland fan, Doncaster fan or just a neutral fan, um, please could you remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I'll leave some videos on screen. One of them will be that Sunderland video that I've spoken about a couple of times in this vid so if you could watch that to carry on watching I'd really really appreciate it thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one